Yeah, nice job by uh, uh, short game early and a uh, great job by Tristan. Solid defense uh, throughout the day and just uh, a pretty efficient win of what we needed and what we were expecting. And, you know, you don't take anyone for granted, but when you're able to be in a position like that and take care of it, um, kind of sets up our pitching for tomorrow as well. Thank you, Coach. Uh, Danny, go ahead. David, um, first, uh, with Tristan, that thing was 82 pitches. Does that kind of save him for later in the regional if you do need him? I mean, it's possible. Um, we would like to, go, like to have gone maybe one less inning. And uh, just you've been in these things way too often, and you get in a situation where a hit here, hit there, three-run homer, and now you're getting one of your guys that you're expecting to be your high-leverage guys in, in the bullpen, getting them going. So, um it was very efficient. I think he's in a good spot as far as being able to help us later if we need it. And then I, I'm sure we're going to talk to him in a couple of minutes. But um, before the game, was he amped at all? Was, did you need to settle him down or was he just cool and collected and ready to go, considering, you know, how much of a long run fan he is? And I'm sure he has been waiting for this moment for a while. I, I didn't notice anything different from Tristan. And you never know. I mean, that environment's completely different. Even uh, a Friday, Saturday opener in the Big 12. Uh, you can just feel the buzz immediately, and you just don't know how guys are going to react. And I, I thought he did a nice job of being Tristan Stevens and just attacking the strike zone. But um, I think he trusts himself in, when it comes to preparation and his routines, and he knows he's put the work in. And so, you know, he, he depends on that. <clears throat> Go ahead. David, Ivan kind of sets a tone for you guys with that big home run. How important was that for him to kind of get back to what he's, what he's been so successful doing this year? Yeah, I mean, it's all about confidence. And uh, it was a pitch he handled really well and hit it a long ways. And um, I just think that when Ivan stays in the middle of the field, he gets better recognition of the off speed. And, you know, he's in a, in a good spot. And if they want to try to beat him hard in, he can handle it and stay in the middle of the field. Um, so I, don't, I think Ivan's going to have a, a, a great weekend or potentially be good the rest of postseason if he just stays confident and just stays with his approach. And have you guys made a decision about the starter uh, tomorrow? Or is that kind of dependent upon what happens with this game later on? No, Ty's throwing tomorrow, no doubt. Yeah. Joe Cook, go ahead. David, I guess aside from – Trey's defense, was there anything that you, you didn't really like? It seemed like you were pretty complete in, in every facet today. I'll tell you what I really liked first is how we handled our short game early uh, because I think you get in a situation like this and, you know, you feel like you're going to get a pitch to drive and so you get out of your swing or you try to do too much. And understanding that taking care of your job and handling that was outstanding. Um, yeah, other than, you know, Trey's couple of mishaps, um, I thought Mitch did a poor job on the read at third base. Uh, he thought the ball was tipped foul, and it's not his job to think there. It's his job to react and let the umpire tell him. But uh, overall, you know, pretty clean game for us. I thought Side did a nice job on the play as well. Nick Moyle, go ahead. Yeah, David, look, you know, the guys came in, they looked like they were really sort of locked in, just, you know, one, two, three inning for Tristan, and then you guys get a couple of runs in the, in the bottom of the first. Just what do you think about the energy and attitude they came out with to play with today? Outstanding. I mean, we talk about a funnel system where you kind of show up the ballpark, you get a little closer to batting practice, uh, pretty calm, not a lot of messing around, but I didn't sense any kind of um, nervousness. I just sensed the same kind of deal. And I mean, they don't know what to expect. We don't have any of them that's really played in postseason. So uh, for them to just go out there and, and just kind of go business as usual was pretty important for us today. And they did a nice job of handling that. But the, yeah, energy, actually, the energy was different. I'm telling you, the energy was definitely different. You could feel it. Uh, but just really proud of them getting that first one under the belt. Yeah, I'm curious, actually, the uh, the Twitter account for the for the people out at Occupy um, Left Field, you know, they, they said that uh, – CDC sent them like a letter, just kind of supporting them. You know, curious, you know, what you think of that sort of, you know, the AD throwing those guys some love out there for being as crazy as they are. Well, I didn't know that was happening from Twitter during the game, but uh, I will definitely say that's awesome because they're a huge piece of our fan base. 
they've kind of got their little niche out there and, and that's their go-to. Um, I'm just trying to figure out how to get them within the stadium a little closer um, and allow them to basically do the same thing. Got one last one, Kirk, go ahead. I'm shocked you aren't on Twitter during the game, David, first of all. Yeah. <laughs> I, I, I don't know if it's a hitting slump. I know four or five of your guys really did not hit the ball well, but boy, if you could just speak to the comfortability at home and being in the dish and how much that helped relax the players. Yeah. And, you know, let's be honest. I think the stuff is different than what we've faced. Um, I think the important piece of understanding that is to make sure that we didn't try to do more because the stuff is different. And I think we have to learn from that and understand stuff is at times going to be better, but if you can just stay locked in and what you're good at, then you got a chance to have success. And I think that's a key and a lesson for them. And who did steal Trey Faltini's uniform today? Oh, come on now, Kurt. That, that wasn't him. Uh, aren't, you, aren't you as shocked as we were? <laughs> I mean, it's the game. I mean, the first yeah. one, I don't think he made contact with the ball, but, he, you know, he's been incredible. So, you know, it's just one of those days and he'll catch his breath and be ready to go. Yeah. Thanks, David. Mm -hmm. Thanks, Coach. Appreciate the time. Congrats. Okay, thanks. Hey, Tristan, when we talked to Mike yesterday, he talked about the importance of winning the first game of a regional and not, you know, getting into a – hole um, in, in a double elimination tournament. So how big was this win and coming out and getting this 11-0 dub? It was, it was big, you know. Um, I think that kind of just helps sets the tone for the weekend and kind of just, you know, get the ball rolling again. You know, obviously the Big 12 tournament didn't end the way we wanted it to, but obviously that's in the past. And now um, we're on to regionals. And I think this game kind of just gets the momentum going for this team. Do you take pride? I mean, we appreciate in the press box how fast you work, but you know, do you take pride in going, you know, these sub three hour games? Yeah. Um, I don't know. I mean, that's just kind of me getting in my rhythm, you know? Um, I really don't even notice that I work fast. It's kind of just, you know, when you're in that environment and when I'm in that mode, you know, I just kind of want to get the ball and I want to go and I want to be the aggressor. And that's, I guess, turns into short games, which I'm okay with as well. So yeah. Joe Cook, go ahead. Tristan, what was the biggest thing that you you, uh, you and Sean thought you needed to emphasize ahead of this lineup, and uh, how do you think you did doing that today? Uh, the big thing was attack. You know, um, it seems about this time of the year, walks and free 90s will set the good teams, you know, in a, maybe in a hole. And so for me today, it was just do what I've always done and, and challenge the hitters and let my defense work, and it worked out today. Dustin, you're up. Tristan, a lot of things were different today, the crowd size, the stakes, but it seems like you were the exact same guy. Is that, is that how it felt to you, just, a, just another start? Yeah, yeah. And uh, that's how I mean, I'll go about it from then on out, whether it was in the past or now. It's just, it's just another day. Um, the circumstances shouldn't change. You know, obviously the environment's a little different and what's at stake is a little different, but it's the same game. And when you treat it that way, <laughs> you know, there should be no pressure. And I think we handled that as a team really well. How much did you enjoy seeing that offense give you that big lead early on? It was awesome. You know, um, we know what this offense is capable of, and we know that they got in that little slump last weekend. And so it was nice to see them not only get those hits, but um, execute the short game as well. You know, we got a couple of bunts down, and that was really encouraging because we do have that speed to put the pressure on the defense and not just our hitting, but in our, you know, our bunting as well. Joe Cook, go ahead. Tristan, what was it like seeing a tie on the clipboard for one of your starts? And was there anything uh, different about how you and him would, would talk in the dugout because he was charting things? Yeah, no, it was, it wasn't really too different. It was kind of weird because, you know, I'm always, I kind of, you know, give him a little advice in between his innings on a Friday. And so it was, it was different when he came up to me. So I was like, oh, what's up, Ty? You know, it was just kind of, kind of putting me out of the blue, but it, it's nice. You know, the confidence we have with our three starters, it's, it's awesome. Got a last one from Kirk. Go ahead. Tristan, can you speak to how comfortable <clears throat> this team is playing at home and then winning in such an overwhelming fashion, what that does for your confidence as a team? Yeah. Um, I mean, our, our motto is own the dish. And, you know, I think we live by that. And, 
you know, when we have the fans bring the energy that they do and when we do the preparation that we've done, you know, we don't think anyone can ever beat us here. And that's how it should be. And, you know, that's what we hope will happen. So, um, yeah, we hope to just keep that motto going on for the rest of the weekend and hopefully the rest of the year. Thanks. Awesome. Thank you all. Thanks, Tristan. Appreciate it. Appreciate you guys. Um, Silas, first off, how did it kind of feel to get the bats going um, after kind of a subpar for performance at the Big 12s? Yeah, it felt good. It felt good to get off to a hot start. You know, we kind of expected it. Of course, everybody's going to look at the opponent and say that maybe that has some factor into it, but we don't believe in that. You know, we came out and just put together good at bats. You know, as a catcher, what did you see from Tristan out there? And how nice is it, you know, someone who, you know, crouched a lot that he kind of works as fast as he does and got you back to the dugout as quick as he did? Yeah, Tristan did his thing. You know, we've seen it time and time again. And uh, it's just a credit to his work. He was incredible today, pounded the zone with all his stuff, gave us a chance to win just like he always does. Justin, go ahead. Silas, you haven't seen or played in, in an atmosphere like this at Texas before. What was it like? And, and what allowed you guys to just treat this like any other game despite – you know, the increased stakes and in, in different crowd and stuff like that. Yeah, uh, it definitely was a crowd that we I'm not used to. You know, that was my first time playing in front of a big crowd. And uh, we really we really emphasize slowing the game down mentally, you know, and we go out there and just worry about one pitch at a time, worry about what we're doing, not getting caught up in our surroundings. And uh, that's what we did today. And it was a really fun game. And I hope to have a even bigger crowd tomorrow night. Kirk, go ahead. Yeah, Silas, I mean, how big was jumping out to a 6 nothing lead, too, and just showing that, you know, you guys are here on a mission and just taking care of business? Yeah, that was huge. You know, we want to come out and make a statement to every team in this tournament, and uh, that's what we did. Came out, we put pressure on them. We put barrels on the, uh, on the baseball, and uh, good things happen for us, and we're going to keep rolling. Thanks. Great. Thanks, Silas. Appreciate the time. Thank you all.